big skies and tell me oh, a little bit about that. Always. I think this year, perhaps more than any year, I've, I've, there was this little part of me that kind of, I suppose, lost track of time. I think that happened for a lot of people really, whereby you wouldn't actually know what day it was or what time it was. It was like either light o'clock or dark o'clock, it didn't matter. Because um, certain constraints were lifted, I suppose, you know, the children weren't going to school. We, we, I suppose we took more notice of what was going on in our surroundings, where usually I would be very busy running backwards and forwards between, between get turning over the facilities for the guests and all the rest of it. It was like, actually, I now have time. So we saw all kinds of things. The skies were quiet, so we saw, we saw, stars and constellations that we weren't familiar with. We watched birds hatching, curlews, all kinds of things that usually wouldn't have, you know, we knew they were there, we knew they were happening, but we wouldn't have, I suppose, focused on to that degree. But it was kind of like the gift that coronavirus gave us was maybe a bit more time, I suppose. So when you're away from Raven Seas, mm. enjoying the great outdoors in Yorkshire, where do you like to go? I do occasionally have a day out, but I usually combine it with work. Um, recently I had to go to York, because we haven't at university then. I thought York was a lovely, lovely, lovely city. That was wonderful. Um, the seaside as well, I suppose. Quite like swimming. I've got a bit of a liking for, for the old outdoor swimming. So places like... Um, so anyone who wants to come and visit Yorkshire, what would you say to them about how what a brilliant place Yorkshire is. Ah, when it comes to visiting Yorkshire, I think it is a place that ticks so many boxes. It's got everything. It's got your metropolitan, busy, it's got your cities, it's got your open spaces. Those are the places that I like, the places where your phone doesn't work, the places where you can get what we call headspace. But just enjoying, enjoying the outdoors. I love Yorkshire for, for for, for what it is, you know, it's everything to me. You know, I've, I've lived in both parts of Yorkshire and I really can't say that I have a favourite. So Amanda, you live in this beautiful isolated place in Yorkshire, but actually you've seen across the globe. Tell me about that. I, I always think that, as I started with Yorkshire, is a place of contrast. So living where I do, one of the highest, most remote farms in Yorkshire. But yeah, I feel like I've gone global but without going anywhere. Um, I feel like people have just fallen in love with, 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 I suppose, the scenery, the views, the big skies. Of course, where we farm, it's all, it's very heathery, it's Wuthering Heights, it's that. It's the scenery that kind of makes you want to sort of take a deep breath. That is what people like. The children, the animals. It's just, I say, it, it's, um, I feel like it's a, a real honour that people are so interested. I get messages from all over the world, all over the world, where people have seen us on the television and want to know where this place is. Because, I mean, it, um, I mean, it's a special place for me, obviously, but I mean, who'd have thought? You couldn't make it up, really, could you? You couldn't make it up that this tiny little place on the very cusp, with other counties that we don't mention, <laughs> should, should have gone so far. It's, it's, it's very strange, but I think that kind of sums up Yorkshire as well. It's a place of, you expect the unexpected. You come down over the cattle grid and you see this view, and you look at the view, and it's pretty much unchanged. It's the view that I used to see in my mind's eye when I watched, when I watched those um, Old Creatures Great and Small episodes. And of course, a lot of those episodes were filmed up Swaledale because the, you know, the, 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 the scenery hadn't changed, so it fitted. So can you imagine, my life feels like it's done full circle. I am there now, living it. For me, it was my dream. That was, that was, that was what I dreamed of. And I'm really fortunate that I somehow ended up with my dream becoming a reality and for a lot of people a lot of people their ideas and dreams of where they want to go in life and what they want to do with life are exactly the same as, my, uh, exactly the same as mine slow things down a bit quit the rat race and, and spend some time in the countryside please.
it's, uh, it's, a very, it's a very simple idea and it's an achievable one. It's an achievable, it's an achievable idea. The people watching the programme, the people sitting at home, they can see this beautiful place on the, on the television, but it's accessible. They can get there, they can get on the train, they can get